Greetings, denizens of the digital world. It is I, the Serial Killer, uh, coming to you on day three of the year of vlogging dangerously from, well, the same place that I was on days one and two at home. And uh, today, as opposed to just rambling absolutely incoherently, I'm going to ramble mildly incoherently and talk about something uh, focused. Oh my god, I'm focused. So yesterday, I go to the mail expecting, you know, the usual bills, bills, more bills, flyers, and a bank statement that I've been too lazy to tell them that I check online. Um, and of course, I was too dumb to shut off my instant messenger, so a message comes through right now. Uh, anyway, I'm checking my mail, and uh, I got something that I had to had completely forgot I ordered, or ordered, or was going to receive. Um, I got this. If you can see it, yes. Greetings from the Winter Circle, National Writing Novel Month, uh, National Novel Writing Month, 2011. Uh, yes, the year of vlogging dangerously is 2012, and 2011 is over. But uh, one of the great, one of the big accomplishments of last year on my behalf, on my part, behalf. Yeah, no, on my part, part would be the better word. Hey, this is a great time to not know my words, isn't it? Yeah, is uh, completing National Novel Writing Month. Now, it's not about the it's not about the perfect product. It's about the product being done. That's right. Uh, yeah, there's my cop out for today. So yes, uh, I completed National Novel Writing Month. For those of you who don't know what it is, and I think most of you who actually initially will be viewing this, and if it ever gets viewed by anybody else, I'd be surprised, will know National, Writing no National Novel Writing Month, NaNoWriMo, is a challenge in which you uh, attempt to write 50,000 words in one month. That's 30 days, 50,000 words. And I've been doing this for about four years, but circumstances and just lack of personal ability to focus up uh, has, have dictated against, uh, dictated against me. Wow, see, I'm talking about writing, and I can barely word to fire right now. Yeah, they've, they've conspired against me. Um, so I've conspired against myself, and circumstances have conspired against me, and I haven't been able to complete it until now. Uh, I wrote a, uh, pseudo, no, not pseudo-religious, it was a, a paranormal, pseudo sci-fi private detective noir novel thing which eventually will be completed but uh, for now my writing focus is a little different we'll get onto that in a, in a few moments but uh, what does this represent to me it represents finally a little bit of validation that I can produce product at, a, at a, an enhanced rate I, I didn't even write every day I wrote maybe 20 of the days I was writing on a good day 2300 plus words an hour more if I was on my game, and it it just proved to me that I can stick to something writing-wise, I can stick to a schedule, and it approved to me not only writing-wise that I can do that, but if with a little bit of focus I can do just about anything I put my mind to um, under a deadline, and that's a good thing considering I'm going back to school. It It's validation of what I knew already, but yeah. Um, so, completed that, and I've got a new focus for this year for writing, um, I didn't make resolutions this year. No, I came up with projects to do, uh, focal projects, focused, uh, focused things, and one of them is the year of vlogging dangerously, as you are witnessing day three of. That's right, three days. I'm on a hot streak officially. I said yesterday that if I had three, I'd start advertising it a bit, and I will be doing that. Um, but that's me. The three thousand. Uh, that's me uh, doing three days focused. Yes, I. I do all of these in one take if you can't read can hadn't realized that until this point. And uh, I'm gonna focus up again. Focus is the key. Uh, one of the projects that I'm doing is uh, I'm I'm editing the very first novel I ever wrote, uh, tentatively tentatively titled T dot Explorer. Uh, the whole thing being the, the T dot is Toronto and uh, the main character is exploring Toronto. Uh, yeah, um, it's a contemporary thriller. It's horribly written at this point in time. I wouldn't say horribly. It's a good story that deserves a lot better treatment. And uh, I haven't edited it since 2000. 
four. That was the last draft I did. I, it was completed in 2002, so it's been almost 10 years since I finished the novel. It's about time I, I get around to doing that good polished edit and eventually try and get it published. But the key right now is the edit, and I am working on that fairly aggressively. I'm doing a couple chapters a day of note taking at this point. Um, I'm getting reacquainted with the material and in a way that I wasn't before. I never wrote an outline. I never did any of that. I just sat down, wrote, and threw down uh, 180 pages worth of story, which was good in its structure, but the the finer details, the grammar was hideous. The uh, a lot of the continuity is botchy or blotchy. Yeah, botchy. Yeah, botchy works. Yeah, it was a game in which you throw balls. Uh, normally down a court, but sometimes over ponds in a public park and over active traffic if you really want to play it the extreme way. I've gone off on a tangent about bocce that should not have been included in here, and that's a clear sign, especially at the six minute mark, that I should maybe tie it up. But one of the things you're going to get a fairly regular update on is going to be the T. Explorer project, the refining of my first novel. That's one of the things that's going to be a, a a fairly regular thing for the first few months of the year of vlogging dangerously. Goal right now is to have it done, the note taking done this month, and the editing to be well and progressed, the complete and thorough rewrite to be well and progressed by the end of February. We'll see how that goes. You'll see how that goes because I'll keep telling you how that goes. But for now, because this has gone on a bit too long, um, I have as always been the Zero Killer. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or death threats, put them in the comment section below, and I will try and address them. Hey, look, a second notification. That's time for me to go, folks. Have a good one.